Thought we came and got it from behind. I think that's a that might be a bigger bass. No, they're just fighting like crazy today. I mean it's bigger than the last one, but Hey, what's going on y'all? Alright, so um welcome to Big Bear Fishing. Uh today on my channel we are going to be throwing a fall time classic. We're gonna be throwing a red chatterbait. I have the uh, a red trailer on there. We're gonna throw that. Um this is a good time of year to throw a chatterbait. I mean, you could really throw it any time of the year, but right now is a really good time to get that reaction bite. It is fall time, officially, so see if we can't get on that fall bite. They should should hopefully be eaten up. Um, we have rain today, and it's going to be overcast, so I think we can get this. And then the other fall time favorite of mine is a spinnerbait, and I have one of those too, and we'll tie that up later. But for right now, we're going to throw this, and hopefully we can catch some big ones. But if you're not already subscribed, do that for me right now. I'd appreciate it. And let's go fishing. All right, y'all. So switch over to my War Eagle Finesse Spinnerbait. Um, no trailer hook, no trailer at all. It's got, the reason I like these, it's a smaller profile, which is awesome in the fall time. And it has a built-in trailer. See that? The skirt's longer, so let's see if we can't catch. I'm getting short strikes on the chatterbait, so I think slowing this down. Got that uh, Indiana Indiana blade, I think is what it's called. Anyway, it's got that. Slows the lure way down. I can fish this thing so slow. But let's get out there and see if we can catch something on this one. My fault. Should have let him eat it longer. That was my fault. There's a bump. There we go. Little one. Little guy, but I'll take it. Deal. Right at the weeds. A little better one. A little better. Right on that weed edge. Alright, well. Alright. Another one from spinner bait. But the, I can slow this one down. The chatterbait was just, I think, going a little bit too fast. Which I know you can slow a chatterbait down, but if you slow it down too much, you don't get the action out of it to get the react or to get the uh, yeah reaction strikes. That's cool. They're tucked up right in the weed edge, which is what I figured. Jerk that one a little bit too hard. Hey buddy, I thought you were bigger. I thought you were a monster. You're not. Hey, how did you come up? I hit it as soon as it got the worst. Oh, I see. A good bite. I think it's yeah, it's not any bigger. It's a good hit though. It's a good hit. Alright buddy. All 
All right, y'all, so with the spinner bait, um, usually what I do when I'm fishing a pond like this is I will throw it out. I'll let it sink usually um, about halfway to where I think it's right above the weeds. You kind of got to get a feeling for where the weed, uh, the top of the weeds are. And then I'll, I'll just slow, slowly bring it in. And then when I get closer to the, where I can see the weed edge right here, uh, right next to the bank, then I'll just lift my rod tip. So I'll be like this and then I'll just lift it up and that changes the trajectory of the, of the war altogether. Caught so many fish doing that. Gotta play around with it, but usually spinnerbait's the same thing as chatterbait. If you're if you're not getting some weeds on your lure, then you're not gonna catch as many fish. You pretty much want to be in in the weeds, or at least close enough that you're getting one every once in a while. All right, y'all. I got a really, really, really cool trick. I have never. I don't think I've ever shown. Yeah, I don't think I've ever shown y'all. Okay, so, like, the weeds obviously are only about maybe six inches to a foot under the water against the bank here. That did get popped earlier, like, right in the weeds. So, another thing you can do is, um, you're gonna cast out and then get ready to reel. Keep it right at the top and fish it right at the top, almost like a buzz bait. See how that's right there? Sometimes the blade will pop. Oh, there's a fish. <laughs> there's totally a fish right there. Or there is a fish. Alright y'all, so another thing that you'll notice is when I get weeds on there, I'm not slapping the water with it. Um, what I do is I want my spinner baits to run perfectly straight. So I tune them by bending stuff on them and I get them exactly where I want them to be so slapping the water just can screw that up so I usually with a spinner bait I'll pick it off with most other things I'll slap the water but with the spinner bait I usually pick them off by hand another little tip <laughs> that was pretty cool Watch them come right up and take it. God, they are so dark today. Alright buddy, I'm gonna get you off of there if you just stop flipping. <laughs> How dark he is. Right in the weeds. How dark he is. Like super dark. Pretty fish. I knew it. I knew I'd get one on my buzz bait technique. There is one right there. There's another fish. Get this one in. Weak from something bigger. Could have been a grass cart. Another little one. Oh, that one came and got it from behind. I think that's a. That might be a bigger bass. No, they're just fighting like crazy today. I mean, it's bigger than the last one, but.
quick on it. Wow, these hooks are crazy today. Alright. Not a monster, but it's fish. We love fish. That's a better one. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. That is a good bass right there. That's a good bass. Yes. That's what I came out here to catch. Again, hooked. Really, really weird. There's a better one on, on the little spinner bait. 